Hey guys, we decided to take a trip up to Camden this weekend. I'm here with Heather Glover. She's the owner and head strength coach here at Camden Strength. And she's gonna go over some core lift stuff with you because she knows way more about it than I do. My name is Heather Glover. I'm the owner at Camden Strength. I do some one-on-one -on -one training here. Um, some of my certifications that I've got, starting strength with Mark Ripito and Jordan Feigenbaum of July of 2015 as a weekend seminar. I've also taken multiple classes from Matt Reynolds, which included a squat camp out of his personal gym that he had owned. Also, Fight Strong, which we do through Camden Strength, and I've taken and I also help assist all of the classes there. And I'm currently studying to get my ACSM personal trainer certification, level one CrossFit certification, and I'm still in the process of trying to take the starting strength coach certification as well. She knows way more about this stuff than I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and let her take over. All right guys, so the first thing that we're gonna do in a deadlift is I'm gonna step up and I'm gonna put the middle of my foot under the bar. And now their stance in the deadlift is probably a lot closer than what you're gonna wanna take. A lot of people wanna take a wide stance and my, my heels are only about maybe four or five inches apart. Next, I'm gonna make sure my toes are pointed out about 35 degrees or so. And when in doubt, toes out, which means that if you're not sure if they're out far enough, go ahead and just open them up a little bit more. So the bar's over the middle of my foot. I know that my stance is right. What I'm gonna do is with as straight of legs as I'm capable of, I'm gonna bend over and grab the bar right outside of my legs. So I'm gonna bend over. Once I have the bar, I'm gonna bend my, sh my legs till my shins touch without moving the bar. Then I'm going to raise my chest up really hard without dropping my hips and while keeping my chin down, I'm going to drag the bar all the way up my legs and stand up tall. And as you notice, I didn't shrug up or anything. My arms are just like ropes and I'm just standing up nice and tall. And now on the way down, we're just going to do the complete opposite of what we did to pick it up. So on the way down, I'm going to start pushing my butt back, keeping my back nice and tight. Once I reach my, my knees, I'm going to start to bend my legs and sit it back down. And I can stand back up. And as you notice, the bar is back over the middle of my foot. You'll know if you did it incorrectly because if you set it down and it's way out in front of you, well, it's not in the same spot as it was whenever you went to pick it up and you have to completely reset to do your next deadlift.